guys, welcome back to another episode of Earthling Weight Loss. Thank you for tuning in again today. Today's video is on a viewer's question asking about salt and water retention. So I've mentioned in previous videos that you know consuming salt in one's diet can lead to puffiness and bloating and perceived weight gain. So today's video will discuss why this happens and how you can prevent it. So first of all, sodium is an essential nutrient for humans. It is responsible for the regulation of blood volume and blood pressure, other body fluids, pH, and osmotic equilibrium. It is also important in a number of metabolic processes, nerve transmission and the activity of the heart, circulatory system, and our muscles. Sodium is so essential to get from our diet that we have retained our salty taste buds on our tongue for hundreds of thousands of years. So the body has a complex system for maintaining an optimal sodium balance. You need a minimum of 180 milligrams of sodium per day. Consuming more than 2,300 milligrams is considered unsafe, according to the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention. Yet, the average American gets over 3,400 milligrams of sodium a day. So your body tries to maintain a sodium water concentration outside of your cell walls that is similar to seawater. When you consume sodium, your body holds on to the water within it in order to keep that ideal concentration. This is a really cool fact here. When you consume 400 milligrams of sodium, your body will compensate by retaining four cups of water within your body. And this is roughly equal to about two pounds of water weight. And that's only for 400 milligrams of sodium. You know, you think of how much is in one teaspoon of table salt, and we get 2,325 milligrams of sodium. And so if we do the math and we know that, you know, the average person will consume 3,400 milligrams a day, this equates to 17 pounds of retained water in the body, roughly. And that's just due to added salt. So a high sodium diet can cause more issues than just water weight gain. It also elevates your blood pressure because there's more water in your blood trying to dilute the salt and therefore there's more pressure in your vessels and in your arteries. And this actually increases your risk of having a heart attack or stroke. So sodium is highly tied to water within our bodies. The retention or loss of one generally stimulates the same effect in the other. We have osmoreceptors in our hypothalamus in the brain, responsible for sensing sodium and water balance within our body. When sodium is consumed, our bodies release water and so it can escort the sodium out in our urine. And then we are left with less water. So the same osmoreceptors detect this state and trigger a sensation of thirst to get you to drink more water to replenish your water stores. So your body can return to the proper concentrations of electrolytes. This is a big reason why places like bars will offer salty snacks like pretzels or peanuts. The salt causes us to become thirsty and then order more alcoholic drinks. So water tension may occur because the pressure inside our capillaries changes. Capillaries are tiny blood vessels that carry interstitial fluid, which is composed of nutrients, oxygen, etc. So our capillaries carry this fluid into our surrounding tissues. When you eat too much salt, it increases the levels of sodium in your body. So your body will hold on to, it will retain more water to dilute this salt. So the retention of this fluid within our small capillaries causes pressure within them, and then they start to leak out this excess water into our surrounding tissues. When this fluid gets into the tissue space between our cells, this causes edema, which is water retention. So the more fluid that's released, the more and more of it will actually remain in our skin tissue, rather than returning to our capillaries. So this results in swelling and water logging. So basically, when we consume salts, it is the water moving from our bloodstream to our skin tissue that causes that puffy look. So if you are consuming salt in your diet, water retention is something that you may be experiencing. I think it's a real pity that people stop the diet when they perceive weight gain because, you know, salt is just another influencing factor. As I said before, you know, you could be holding up to 17 pounds of water weight if you're consuming what average Americans do. So your minimum sodium requirement is 180 milligrams a day, and you will definitely reach this minimum on a whole foods plant-based diet. Basically, plant foods contain a sufficient amount of really any macro or micronutrient. You know, whether it's protein, carbohydrates, fats, vitamins, minerals, 
It's available in plant sources in a much better concentration than you'd find in animal products. If you still do want to use additional salt uh, on your starch meals, if they're a little bit bland and you just want to flavor it a little bit, then I'd say you can do this, but just don't uh, add any salt when you're preparing your meal. And so when you're cooking your soup, don't add any. When it's in your bowl, just sprinkle a little bit of salt on the surface. And then those salt granules are going to be hitting your taste buds directly, and you're going to get that satisfaction from the salt without having to take in a lot of sodium. And if you think you're still experiencing water retention, I would bring down your salt allowance to 500 milligrams or less, and you should definitely notice an improvement. For me personally, I don't add salt to my meals just because I feel it really affects me if I have even a little bit. I notice I'll wake up the next morning and my face will be puffy and I just really don't feel my best. And so if you're like this and you'd like to start cutting back on salt or maybe cutting it out completely, I'll come out with a video soon on different techniques that you can do this. Because you can definitely replace salt with other flavors in your meal. So definitely stay tuned for that video. If you got anything out of this one, then please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Have an abundant day, Earthlings, and see you next video. Bye. Oh, so the story.